What's up, TinkABA? One Tech Traveler here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Now, today I've got an unboxing haul we are checking out from Mantis Sleep. I last reviewed their original Modular Mask V2 when I was in South Korea, and that was being like three or four years back, which I'm still rocking in my latest travel setup. So I do a follow-up video on how that has been in those couple of years. I'm really excited to see how Mantis Sleep have evolved their range. Check out my website at onetechtraveler.com where I'll also be following up with my written reviews. And if you like what you see, if you want to explore the rest of Mantis Sleep's sleeping range, then I'll also be putting the links down below where you can support the channel if you find these are right for you. We are unboxing and checking out the Mantis Sleep Sound, the Pro, the Silk, and their travel pillow. Let's get started. There's a lot of stuff to unpack in these three different types of modular sleeping masks. So I'm gonna put those over to one side. We've got the Man to Sleep Travel Neck Pillow. Now what I like about this, it's inflatable, which means you get about three or four full breaths to completely inflate this thing. And since I'm really all about packable items when I'm traveling around, I wanna use it when I need it and then packs down and takes up hardly any space. We can just take that out. And this is the inflatable travel neck pillow. So you can see how it really flattens down when you're not using it. Comfortably three, literally three breaths. And we've got the valve here. It's in a nice like bluey gray, and this is a micro sleeve, sort of like a suede material, firmer support and you can inflate this to the max. If you want something that's a little bit more uh, cushioned and not too firm, then you can inflate it to like two breaths and it's gonna give you some support without being too stiff. This is quite a beast. And let me show you all the four different ways we can rock this. We can cinch it down with this additional drawstring and it's different from how I remember the first generation. If you feel it's more fitted on the left, but you need a little bit more hold on the right, then we can actually just press in the right side and cinch it there. So this is in the cradle mode, is the standard way that you can use the inflatable travel neck and I'll show you what it looks like on either side. So you can see it's got really good hold. It kind of reminds me of like racing drivers and the helmets, they've got some support. So if you are a side sleeper or you find your head nodding off to either side, then even if you're in the aisle or your middle seats or the you know, the window section is just also very uncomfortable. This just gives you really great comfort. I can find myself like sleeping already. The next mode is called nod. So from this view, all we're gonna do is just flip it underneath and the short part is going to be the front. So the longer section is going to be towards the back. Probably not gonna get it as fitted as you would the front way just because it's a little bit difficult to do it this mode. But I do find myself using this when I wanna lean my head sort of forward if I don't really feel I want to have too much support on the left or just wanna sleep this way, then this kind of tucks uh, underneath your chin, not too much, just your chin sort of rests. And this can help you lean forward. This provides enough like comfort hold on my shoulders. So if you tighten it, this thing is not going to move, especially if you're on planes or buses where the seat headrest is a bit too padded and adding and using the normal cradle mode might sort of lean you a bit forward. I find this one is a bit more compatible with the seats, so it's not pushing you too forward. Again, it all looks a little bit funny, but who cares? As long as you can get comfortable sleeping, then it doesn't matter and everyone's going to be sleeping anyway. So use this how you want. So those are two modes. The next one we have is hug mode and it's simply just, you can press this against your chest and you can hug it like this. Now, I don't really find this as useful for me because it's a, a little bit too narrow on my end. I kind of like my hands to either rest on it, so have them against my hips, and then I can put it like this, and my hands can just 
naturally rest very well. I like this more than how they suggest to use this for hug mode. You don't have the next support. If you don't need it, then this is still a nice way you can just rest your arms rather than laying down. It does feel natural and comfortable for me. Lock mode is basically the opposite of nod. You'd have the rear part facing the back and you just flip over cradle. So you still get access to the drawstring from the front. We can just cinch that here. And this is, again, a nice lock. It literally locks around your neck. There's not much movement. Uh, so you get a lot of great support. Alternative to cradle mode where you don't need the full head like rest support. You just need the extra neck leverage for you to sort of lean on either side. And then the top part just leans more towards your shoulders. So those are all four modes. It has a slight pouch section towards the, the right side. And it's kind of facing sideways. So when you're in cradle mode, it's more accessible from this rather than upwards. Helps when you are just trying to push little bits in here and store it. When it's fully inflated, it's got a fairly tight hold as you'd want. So it's not moving. Maybe wireless earbuds, some small snacks. I wouldn't really put valuables. Lift up the flap, push it in. And there you have it. It's that easy, literally in seconds. So you can use this right up to when you're leaving or um, getting off the plane. And once you've pushed that down, you can just roll it up. And you don't even really need to roll it up too much either. And then this drawstring and you're done. Super affordable as well. So if you're just looking to improve your travel comforts and you don't want to drop a lot of money, then definitely look at this inflatable travel neck pillow. When you're hard, and first up, we're going to unbox the Manta Sleep Silk. It's 30 mom, 100% pure silk, and it's gentle on the delicate skin around the eyes. Ultra breathable materials keep you cool through the night, and it's true 100% blackout for deeper sleep. Manta Sleep Silk. Whew. Oops, that was really bad. Feels really nice in the hand. Just put that to one side, give you a quick look. Got a beautiful, like, navy, nice silk feel, and even the eyelet pads as well. A nice mesh pocket. So compared to the original, just a very standardized one. This one's slightly larger, more airy, more generous, and also easier to see inside too. This mesh pouch is actually, it feels really good. Uh, we've got a zip pull, an orange like divider pouch. I also get two included earplugs as well in their small plastic case. Foamy style earplugs. Nice that they've included some. And this will just mold inside. Man to sleep stickers. Proudly pro nap. Cool, cool. Feels really nice. Also looks really beautiful in that silk. The man to sleep sewn into the front. Pops out in that orange. These are the eyelet pads. And what I loved about man to sleep masks are they are modular, really personalized. The fit, that's really important when it comes to blocking out light and just overall comfort. These eyelet pads have like a, a slight stickiness to it. It's not very strong, but it holds up well to this. So you don't find like very high noise when it's ripping away from the surface, which is cool. We still get the same stickiness and they have a small tab here just to say the direction for your nose. It's kind of shaped a little bit differently egg shape style. The padding itself feels nice and soft. You got some side shape around to help you block the light. Very delicate and gentle on the eyes, I'm sure. You got these wavy section, which is where you can freely move these iPads around. Firstly, I'm gonna see how this fits on my eyes. Oh, this actually fits pretty good. I want to adjust it a little bit higher. Nice. So I've set my eyelet pads exactly how I want it to wrap and just to fully block out the light leaks. Left and right. The front, you can see the eyelet pads sort of sticking above the, the main band and that's just to help with the blackouts but also the eye pressure just so it's a bit of comfort and hold rather than being pressed into the eye socket section. I like to sleep on my side then this means when you're lying against the pillow, it's not gonna elevate you 
too much and cause some like neck pain. I was about to fall asleep there. Uh, again, feels really nice, very gentle on the eyes. Oh, <laughs> just had my like sleeping eyes before I, everything sort of adjusted. You just want to spend some time, really personalize the eyelet pads. If you find you've got some like gaps of the light leaks coming in, then you just need to move these around. And that's the beauty of it versus standard sleep masks where you don't have the modularity or flexibility to move them. Then you can bring it a bit more narrow, a bit more wider, change the angle. Once you're happy with that fit and you use this, then you're going to find it like really help you to reach that like REM deep sleep quicker. This is a really nice sleep mask, a silk alternative to the modular version. Very comfortable, nicely cushioned, uh, gentle on the skin, but very smooth. The quality of the stitching, Velcro section also more generous. So we've got a nice long length. Put this inside the mesh pouch. And that is mask number one. I love how they've upgraded the overall experience with the mesh pouch, the quality of the masks and just fine tuning what made Manta Sleep Mask excellent in the first place. So that's the silk. Next one up, we have the Manta Sleep Mask Pro. Got the same sort of unbox experience of the silk, just in a black. And this is sleep better anywhere, anytime. I do love these small compact sizes of the boxes. I side sleep a lot and I'm sure many of you do too. Slide down. There we go. And these are the Pro. Definitely already noticing a big difference on those C-shaped eyelet pads. Here we go. We get our two stickers. We get our mesh pouch. And this is exactly the same as the silk version. And we also get another pair of those foamy earplugs with their plastic casing. In terms of the materials, it's 64% tactile, 23% polyester, 13% spandex, and 100% polyester lining on the outside. You can machine wash these cold in the included mesh bag, so don't bleach. You do not iron C-shaped eyelet pads, slick looking headband, perforated mesh panel on the front which gives that sort of like bluey look or purple look and then underneath that has those even bigger perforated like breathable holes besides the breathable main headband it's the eyelet cups the rear where it sticks it's got a c shape the profile is also curved towards the edges orange detailing with the man sleep logo cut out which is pretty neat and while we've got that i'm going to show you what it looks like against the silk so you can see the silk version is more flat across the width it's definitely curved on the pro also slight change in the profile a little bit bigger wider very striking design definitely has a much more breathable material well it does feel it feels more contoured to my nose bridge, the eye socket area. Just feels even more fine-tuned. Left. Right. And the back area. I literally have zero pressure on the eyes. Even though the silk one, I felt it was very comfortable already. This one just feels like it's got nice airiness to it probably helped by these wider c-shaped cups how it really contours well and it does actually make a, a very big improvement to the general feel yes the silk mask is gentle on the skin very comfortable this one is just fully breathable if you're blinking your eyes which you cannot see um it's just got space it's not going to rub against the the eyelet cups or any sort of frictional movement yeah you can, there is such a big difference. And of course, I'm going to have to sleep in these and follow up. So I'm actually really surprised about that. Um, I didn't really know how much more they could improve, but fit, comfort, the breathability, I think it's going to make a big difference. And there are a lot of visible and tangible differences between those models, why this one is called the Pro. So there is an anti-slip gel on the back of the headband, not had any problems with these sleep masks coming off generally even with the original version but having that slip gel just means even more like secured fitting 
Again, depends on your head profile, how much you move around in your sleep, being on your head and not just on the foot of your bed or off the bed, uh, as I found with standard sleeping masks. So that's the silk mask done and the pro. Final one that I'm most curious about is the sound. Let's give you a closer, a slightly thicker version of the pro one. I do pay attention to the quality of the audio as well. So it's seeing how well executed Man's Sleep have built in those headphones into the mask. All right. This is the sound. So it has that same like perforated breathable design of the Pro, a very big difference in the design because it's Bluetooth enabled headphones. Noticing the pad is a lot thicker as well. Same mesh pouch included. I don't have any qualms with that since these mesh pouches are high quality. Maybe for a more expensive like sound model, or some slight touches would have been nice. The two included stuff that we do get, however, is a USB-A to a USB-C cable. Naturally, this is for us to charge and we get these additional strapping. So I'm not sure what this does yet, but we'll definitely find out. You notice there's no foam earplugs included with the sound naturally because you're going to be using the sound and playing your music and stuff. So you don't need to block out noise. And that is literally what comes inside. So they call it one overhead accessory strap. So I guess it's an additional hold that little strap that came with it. So there's a lot going on with the sound. There's two layers. There's an outer layer, which essentially is the Bluetooth headphones part of it. And then there's an inside layer, breathable perforated headbands. It's also a very comfortable feeling. You've got the C-shaped cups, the same eyelet pads that you find in the Pro as well. I'm a really big fan of how they've added the ability to slide it and move the actual earpiece along the headband. This is a thicker headband than the Pro on the Silk, naturally, because it's got two layers. But I just quickly dipped to my bed just to see how it feels. And I find even sleeping on my side, very comfortable. It's a, a little bit more cushion and padding with both of these, but I never found any of the actual ear pieces like get in the way just in my early rough like testing. There's three buttons on the front. The center is the power on button, also help you pair it and turn it off. And then we have the volume controls, decreasing volume on the left side and then increasing volume on the right side. I think for me, naturally, I was trying to increase it from the left side. Of course, you can press the volume control buttons on your phone as well, but it's nice that they've got these so you don't always have to reach your phone if you just want to dial in the comfortable volume that you want to sleep at. And when I wrap this on my head, it has a very different fit profile to the Pro and the Silk as well. left side and the right side you can see the the headband itself naturally is just a bigger profile and that's because the waistband doesn't slim down towards the back it has to wrap over our ears so that the sound and music can can line up and there's probably a lot more adjustment you need to do to really dial in how you like the fit i think the the c-shaped cups are similar to the pro so I don't find as much movement there, but it's the actual outer layer headband that you want to make sure it's lined up to your ears and then dialing in the placement of the earpieces themselves. I already paired it to my phone and played a few different couple of tracks just to see the audio quality. And I've also tried it from the maximum volume to the lowest volume. These are actually pleasantly sounding to the ears. There's a, a generally good sound stage fairly broad naturally because it's not going all the way inside our ears so it creates more of like a, a headphones that cups around your ear and the quality is also very good uh, there is some bass level presence in there it's not very deep as you don't really want it to be but it's also not very rich or harsh in the trebles so if you do have more like bassier sounding songs then you are going to feel that come through. But you don't even necessarily have to have it directly over your ears. If you do want some sound, but you don't want it to like really come through, then you can also place it 
a bit further away so it gives you more of like an ambient sound you can kind of tell when it's better placed because the sound comes alive more when it's lined up towards your ears and the volume even at max volume it doesn't get crazy loud which is not surprising more than loud enough than what you'd want it to but it's also a little bit distortion so you wouldn't really want to place this towards a top volume uh, i noticed it started like crackling towards the the very high end the bass was like fine in the mids but it starts to crackle so the quality of the sound is good very full bodied on the mid levels doesn't sound as like crisp or the clarity of vocals but it's still a very pleasant sound i'd be happy to sleep with listening to my music through these headphones so good quality you just don't really want to push it to the max you will probably be using this more towards the lower sound range and generally i approve for the kind of sound quality you would expect in built-in headphones but also how you how you would be using these more as sleeping like ambient sound rather than as full-blown earphones now there is something to bear in mind the fit is very different from the silk and the pro those ones fit very well. This one, it takes some getting used to and it also helped me to understand why they added the accessory strap because it overlaps your ear. There's more of a tendency that it's actually going to slide off your head since my head like curves like that and the bar like wraps in. So while you're sitting up like now or you're on an airplane and you're kind of upwards, then you would probably feel it a little bit going down and that's where the accessory strap comes in. So all we need to do is just place this from one side to the other and we can attach this onto the Velcro strap in between the, the layers and then once it's wrapped then we can tether this to the other side and it will basically go above our head. Having this accessory strap works very well. It just provides a bit more grip towards the upside and just keeps it better placed when you are sat up. But when you're lying down in bed, whether on your side or on your back, I didn't find that to be an issue. So it's mostly if you're using upwards like on a plane. It was such a joy to use, very fun and really cool uh, way to integrate the headphones, the adjustability and just really dialing in. There's a USB port on the outer layer and it sits in front of the C cups, but there's no pressure added at all, so you don't have to worry about the placement. Uh, this takes a USB-C, so you can charge it when you need to. Uh, there's an LED indicator on the front, so when it's like blue, it's full charge. When it's down to red, then it's depleted or you need to charge it. You cannot use this while it's being charged. There's no like rating levels of how long the battery would last, but considering you most likely be putting it on low volume, it's going to last you into the night. It's an incredible sleep mask i was super curious and i'm not disappointed this is a very well built uh sleep mask bear in mind these are not like noise cancelling so if you do generally use like noise cancelling headphones when you are flying then yes you're going to get access to more comfortable sounds these aren't to replace that kind of setup um, this is just more of adding music in the comforts of a sleeping mask man sleep have really expanded it to cater to different type of sleeping arrangement patterns setups and lifestyles and i really like how all of them really bring something different to the table just giving a first look and a deeper insight and impressions of manta sleeps expanded sleep mask range let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite is it the silk is it the pro is it the sound and make sure you stay tuned for my follow-up written and video reviews of each one of these after I've spent some quality time sleeping with these on. Keep an eye for my written reviews on my website at onetechtraveler.com. Think any of these masks are right for you or you want to explore the rest of Manta Sleep's range. You'll find all the links down in the comments in the video description and you can support my channel whenever you decide to purchase from it. Thanks a lot for joining me, Team KBA. I'll see you in the next one, but until then, keep being awesome. Peace.